Esther bless. Glory to the holy consubstantial life, living in a divided trinity, always now and ever and unto ages of age and from above. 
love and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, Archimandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all civil authorities and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy habitation, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives in their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord Blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
watch until night from the morning watch. Let Israel halt in the Justice has been brought to pass for he who by 
by the tree, deceived our forefather Adam, is deceived by the cross, and he who by tyranny gained possession of the creature, in that my God with royal dignity is overthrown in a headlong fall by the blood of God, the poison of the serpent is washed away, and the curse of the just condemnation is loosed by the unjust punishment inflicted on the just. For it was fitting that wood should be healed by wood, and that through the passion of one who knew not passion, should be remitted all the sufferings of him who was condemned because of wood. But glory be to thee, O Christ our King, for thy dread dispensation towards us, whereby thou hast saved us all, for thou art good and loveless mankind. Wisdom, stand upright. Exodus. Let us attend. Moses brought up the children of Israel from the Red Sea and brought them into the wilderness of Shur. And they went three days in the wilderness and found no water to drink. And they came to Marah and could not drink of Marah, for it was bitter. Therefore he named the name of that place Bitterness. And the people murmured against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? And Moses cried to the Lord, and the Lord shewed him a tree. And he cast it into the water, and the water was sweetened. There he established to him ordinances and judgments, and there he proved him and said, 
If thou wilt indeed hear the voice of the Lord thy God and do things pleasing before him, and wilt hearken to his commands and keep all his ordinances, no disease which I have brought upon the Egyptians will I bring upon thee, for I am the Lord thy God that heals thee. And they came to Elam, and there were twelve fountains of water and seventy stems of palm trees. And they encamped there by the waters, and they departed from Elam, and all the congregation of the children of Israel came to the wilderness of Sin, which is between Elam and Sin. Wisdom. The reading from Proverbs. Let us attend. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loves, he rebukes and scourges every son whom he receives. Blessed is the man who has found wisdom and the mortal who knows prudence. For it is better to traffic for her than for treasures of gold and silver. And she is more valuable than precious stones. No evil thing shall resist her. She is well known to all that approach her, and no precious thing is equal to her in value. For length of existence and years of life are in her right hand, and in her left hand are wealth and glory. Out of her mouth proceeds righteousness, and she carries law and mercy upon her tongue. Her ways are good ways, and all her paths are peaceful. She is a tree of life to all that lay hold upon her, and she is a secure help to all that stay themselves on her as on the Lord. Wisdom. The reading from the prophecy of Isaiah. Thus saith the Lord, thy gates shall be opened continually. They shall not be shut day nor night to bring into thee the power of the Gentiles and their kings as captives. For the nations and the kings which will not serve thee shall perish, and those nations shall be made utterly desolate. And the glory of Lebanon shall come to thee with the cypress and pine and cedar together to glorify my holy place. And the sons of them that afflicted thee and of them that provoked thee shall come to thee in fear, and thou shalt be called Zion, the city of the Holy One of Israel. Because thou hast become desolate and hated, and there was no helper, therefore I will make thee a perpetual gladness, a joy of many generations. And thou shalt suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt eat the wealth of kings, and shalt know that I am the Lord that saves and delivers thee, the Holy One of Israel. Let us all say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say... Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy in us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have Again, we pray for his beatitude, our metropolitan Tikhon, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, our commander at Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable holy orthodox patriarchs, and for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of this holy habitation, and for all our fathers and brethren, the orthodox departed this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the brotherhood of this holy monastery, for the seminarians, faculty, staff, alumni, pilgrims, and benefactors of this holy habitation and their families, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Our God, love us mankind, and to thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Let us, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Let us, O Lord. Sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. Christian our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Yes, Lord. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. God, and love us mankind, unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thy kingdom of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. In the first stone today, the holy words of David have truly received their fulfillment. Today. Father's among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, faithful the great, great wisdom of 
Jean-Luc John Chrysostom, Athanasius and Cyril of Alexandria, Athanasius of Antioch, Polycarp of Smyrna, Irenaeus of Milan, and Cyprian of Carthage, of our fathers among the saints, Nicholas of Myra, and Elias, Sidney of the One and Worker, Leo and Gregory of Rome, Ambrose of Milan, and the Holy Confessor, Patrick of Ireland, of the Holy Nina and Lysner of Georgia, Holy Methodius and Cyril of the Teachers of the Slavs, Holy Great Prince Vladimir, the Blessed Princess Olga, and Nicholas, and Putin, the Apostle, and Enlightener of Japan, of our fathers and the saints, the hierarchs of all groups, Peter, Alexis, Sidney, John, and Macarius, Philip, Joel, and Shrimaji, of our fathers and the saints, Clement the Book, and Salva, Sergei, and Ignatius, and Cordova, Innocent Metropolitan of Moscow, and Leitner of the Alleys, the Holy Confessor, Tikhon, and Patriarch of Moscow, and Leitner of North America, and founder of this holy habitation. Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, and the Glass, Joseph of America, and John, the Wonder Worker, Archbishop of Shanghai and San Francisco, of the Holy, Glorious, and Red Victorious Martyrs, the Holy Proto Martyr and Archdeacon Stephen, the Great Martyr and the Pontifical, the Great Martyr Demetrius, the First Trinkler, and George, and the Trophy Bearer, of the Holy Proto Martyr and Muslim and Thecla, and of the Holy Great Martyrs, Catherine, Barbara, and Marcia, of all of the Proto Martyr Britain, and Prince Blossom and Tokyo, of Juvenal and the Proto Martyr of America and his companion, of Peter the Alley, the Father of California, and the Higher Martyrs, John and Alexander, Sarah and the Sea, the Abraham of America, and of all the Holy New Martyrs and Confessors of Russia, of our Venerable and Godbearing Fathers and Mothers, Anthony and Jesus, Thomas and Saint Sophia, Mary and the Egypt of Tanzania, the Penitent, Anthony and Pedro, Saint Sophia, the other Wonder Workers, the Gays and the Dev, Sergius of Rodinich, Job of the Chaya, Sarah from Sorrow, and Tanisius, the Archbishop, Nicodemus and Cyril of the Holy Mountain, and Herman, the wonder worker of Alaska and North America, of the holy and righteous priests, the Lysus of Works of Mary, Jacob of Alaska, and John of Cronstadt, the wonder worker, and of the holy and righteous of the Alpha, the merciful and the grateful, and of the holy blessed Saint of St. Petersburg, the throne of Moscow, of St. Tithon and St. Oscar, and the kingdom, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Georgia, and Anna, and of all thy saints. Most merciful Lord, hearken to us sinners who make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Adjutant of Metropolitan Tikhon, for the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, our commander and surge of the of brotherhood in Christ, and for every Christian soul afflicted in weary, in need of God's mercies and help, for the protection of this holy habitation and those who dwell therein, for the peace and stability of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, for the salvation and help of our fathers and brethren, who with diligence and fear of God labor and serve. For those who are gone away and those who are abroad, for the healing of those who lie in infirmity, for the repose, refreshment, and blessed memory and forgiveness of sins of all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox gone to their rest before us, who lie here and everywhere, for the deliverance of captives, for our brethren who are serving, and for all who serve and have served in this holy habitation, let us say. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities and for the armed forces. Let us say. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray that He will keep this holy habitation and every city and countryside from wrath, famine, plague, earthquake, flood, fire, and sword foreign invasion, civil war, and sudden death, that our good God, who loves mankind, will be gracious and conciliatory, and turn away and dispel the wrath stirred up against us, and all sickness, and may deliver us from his righteous chastisement, which intended against 
us and have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray that the Lord our God will hearken unto the voice of supplication of us sinners and Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy.
corruption has been destroyed, and in corruption has flowered forth. We mortal men are made divine, and the devil is utterly cast down, seeing the exalted today by the hands of bishops. We exalt him who was lifted high upon thee, and we venerate thee, plenteously drawing from thee great mercy. Glory now and ever in the eighth tone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Today, O Christ our God, we sinners venerate with unworthy lips thy precious cross, which Moses once prefigured in himself, when he overthrew Amalek and put him to flight, and which David the psalmist commanded to be venerated as thy poor soul. We cry aloud to thee that was pleased to be crucified on it. O Lord, with the thief count us worthy of thy kingdom. <clears throat> Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in Pardon our transgressions, Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of And 
salvation for him and his God. But thou, O Lord, art my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all those without cause were my enemies. <coughs> thou hast broken the teeth of sinners. Salvation belongs to the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, neither chasten me in thy wrath. For thine arrows are stuck fast in me, and thou hast pressed thy hand heavily upon me. For there is no health in my flesh, in thy face of thy wrath. There is no peace in my bones, in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities have gone over my head. They have weighed upon me like a heavy burden. My wounds stank and festered in the face of my foolishness. I was wretched and bowed down until the end. I went mourning all the day long, for my loins are filled with mockeries, and there is no health in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I have roared from the groanings of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before thee. All my groaning is not hidden from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength has failed me, and even the light of mine eyes is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew near and stood before me, and my nearest of kin stood afar off, and they sought, and that that sought me, my soul used violence. 
And they that sought evils for me spoke empty things, and devised deceits all the day long. But I was like a deaf man, and heard not, and as a speechless man, not opening his mouth, I became as a man that hears not, and whose mouth has no reproofs. For in thee, O Lord, have I hoped. Thou wilt hear, O Lord my God. For I said, let my enemies never rejoice over me. For when my feet were shaken, they spoke boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my grief is continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity and be sorry for my sin. But my enemies live and are stronger than I, and they that hate me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good have slandered, slandered me because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Attend unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Untend unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, I keep watch for thee at dawn. My soul has thirsted for thee. How often has my flesh longed for thee in a barren and trackless and waterless land? So have I appeared before thee in the sanctuary to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than life. My lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. Let my soul be filled as with marrow and fat, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. If I remembered thee upon my bed at dawn, I did meditate on thee. For thou hast been my helper, and in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul is cleaved to thee, thy right hand has upheld me. But they sought after my soul in vain, and they shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be delivered up to the edge of the sword, they shall be portions for the foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God, every one that swears by him shall be praised from the mouth of them that speak unjust things has stopped. At dawn I did meditate on thee, for thou hast been my helper in the shelter of thy wings. <clears throat> Will I rejoice? My soul has cleaved to thee, thy right hand has upheld me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thine ear to my supplication, for my soul is filled with evils and my life has drawn nigh unto hell. I have been counted with them that go down into the pit. I am become as a man without help, free among the dead, like the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cast off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in the dark places, and in the shadow of death. Thine anger lies hard upon me, and thou hast brought up all thy waves upon me. Thou hast removed mine acquaintance far from me. They have made me an abomination to themselves, I have been delivered up, I have not gone forth, mine eyes grew weak from poverty. I cried unto thee, O Lord, all the day long, I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Wilt thou work wonders for the dead, or shall physicians raise them up, that they shall praise thee? Shall anyone tell of thy mercy in the grave, and of thy truth in destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in darkness, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Thou, why dost thou cast off my prayer, and turnest thy face away from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth, and after I was exalted, I was humbled in distress. Thy wrath passed over me, and thy terrors greatly troubled me. They encircled me like water. All the day long they surrounded me together. Thou hast put far from me my friend and neighbor and mine acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thy ear to my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all thine iniquities? Who heals all thy diseases? Who redeems thy life from corruption? Who crowns thee with mercy and compassion? Who satisfies thy desire with good things, so that thy youth shall be renewed like the eagles? The Lord executes mercy and judgment for all them that are wrong. He made known his ways unto Moses, his will to the children of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. His wrath will not endure unto the end, neither will he be angry forever. He has not dealt with us according to our iniquities, nor rewarded us according to our sins. As high as heaven is above the earth, so the Lord is, has strengthened his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our iniquities from us. 
As the Father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion upon them that fear him, for he knows our fashioning. He has remembered that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. As a flower of the field shall he flourish, for the wind passes over it, <clears throat> and it shall be no more, and no longer shall it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to, keep, to them that keep his covenant, and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne in the heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength, that do his word, hearkening to the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers, that do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplication in thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy has persecuted my soul. He has humbled, humbled my life to the earth. He has set me in the dark places like those long dead. And my spirit was despondent within me. My heart within me was troubled. I remembered days of old. I meditated on all thy deeds. On the works of thy hands did I meditate. I spread forth my hands unto thee, my soul for thirst for thee like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit has failed. Turn not thy face from me, lest I become like them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for I have hoped in thee. Make known to me, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I have lifted my soul up to thee. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord. I have fled unto thee for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Thou shalt quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. In thy righteousness thou shalt bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy thou wilt lay waste to my enemies, and thou wilt destroy them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord and Love and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Attitude, our Metropolitan Tikon, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the right Reverend Abbot of this holy monastery, our Commandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord this country, its president, for all civil authorities and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy habitation, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives in their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. In memory 
venerating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the first tone, the Lord is God, and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. We'll give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. me round about, but in the name of the Lord have I driven them back. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. In the stone which the builders refused has become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our O thou who lovest mankind, for upon it thou the life of all wast nailed. O Savior, thou hast opened paradise to the thief who turned to thee in faith, and thou hast counted him worthy of blessedness when he confessed to thee, crying, O Lord, remember me. Accept us like him as we cry. We all have sinned. In thy merciful kindness despise us not. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. No sooner had the wood of thy cross been set up, O Christ our Lord, than the foundation of death were shaken. For that which hell had swallowed eagerly, it let go in trembling. Thou hast shown us thy salvation, O Holy One, and we glorify thee. Have mercy upon us, O Son of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, sir. 
peace, let us pray. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, Commemorate our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. Blessed is thy name and glorified is thy kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Son of Nun stretched out his arms crosswise, O my Savior, mystically prefiguring the sign of the cross. And the sun stood still until he had defeated the enemy that resisted thee, O God. And now the same sun is darkened, seeing thee upon the cross, destroying the power of death and despoiling hell. attend wisdom the prokimenon in the fourth tone all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our god done marvelous things. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Let us pray to the breath praise the Lord oh praise God in his sanctuary praise him in the firmament of his power Right, 
and let us hear the Holy Gospel. judgment of this world, now shall the prince of this world be cast out. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. This he said, signifying what death he should die. The people answered him, We have heard out of the law that Christ abideth forever. And how sayest thou, the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is the Son of Man? Then Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while you have the light, lest darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whither he goeth. While you have the light, believe in the light, that you may become children of light. Thank 
compassion and love for mankind of thy only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thy all holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. He divided the Red Sea in two, so that Israel could go across on foot, and then striking it again crosswise, and uniting it over Pharaoh and his chariots, he inscribed the invincible weapon. Therefore let us sing to Christ our God, for he has been glorified. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. In times past, Moses, standing between the two men of God, prefigured in his person the undefiled passion. Forming a cross with his outstretched hands, he raised a standard of victory and overthrew the power of all destroying Amalek. Therefore, let us sing to Christ our God, for he has been glorified. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Moses set upon a wooden pole a cure against the deadly and poisonous bite of the serpents. For crosswise upon the wood, as a symbol of the cross, he placed a serpent that creeps about the earth, and thereby he triumphed over calamity. Therefore, let us sing to Christ our God, for he has been glorified. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Heaven showed the cross as sign of victory to Constantine, the holy king and upholder of the faith. Through it, the proud insolence of his enemies was cast down, deceit was overthrown, and the divine faith was spread to the ends of the earth. Therefore, let us sing to Christ our God, for he has been glorified. Lorada therein is an image of this mystery. For when it parted, it revealed who should be the priest. And for the church which before was barren, the tree of the cross has blossomed forth for her strength and firm foundation. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord, the rock that was struck and gushed forth water for a hard-hearted and disobedient people made manifest the mystery of the church chosen by God for the cross is her strength and steadfastness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. When the spear pierced thine immaculate side, water fo flowed forth with blood, thereby establishing thy New Testament and washing sin away. For the cross is the glory of the faithful, the strength and steadfastness of kings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. and that glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and now to ages of ages. Amen. In paradise of old, the wood stripped me bare, for by giving its fruit to eat, the enemy brought in death. But now the wood of the cross that clothes men with the garment of life has been set up in the midst of the earth, and the whole world is filled with boundless joy. Beholding it exalted, O ye people, let us with one accord raise in faith our cry to God. Thy house is full of glory. I have heard the mystery of thy dispensation, O Lord. I have considered thy works 
to thy precious cross, O Lord. In days of old, Moses transformed with wood the bitter wells in the wilderness, prefiguring the bringing of the Gentiles to the true faith through the cross. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. Jordan received into its deep bosom a sharp axe and then was forced by a stick of wood to give it back again, thus betokening the cutting of error by the cross and baptism. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The people of Israel, a sacred army drawn up in four divisions, marched in this figure before the Ark of the Testimony, gaining glory by their ranks formed in the sign of the cross. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Stretched out in wondrous fashion, the cross sent forth rays as the sun, and the heavens declared the glory of our God. blessed tree on which Christ the King and Lord was stretched. Through thee the wonder deceived us through a tree has fallen. Caught by the bait of God, who was nailed to thee in the flesh, and who grants peace to our souls. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. Thou wood famous in song, O cross, on which Christ was outstretched, the whirling sword that guarded Eden was afraid of thee, and the dread cherubim gave way before Christ, who was crucified upon thee, granting peace unto our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The powers from beneath the earth, our adversaries, tremble when they see the sign of the cross displayed in the air wherein they dwell, and the multitude of the inhabitants of heaven, together with those born on earth, bow the knee before Christ, who grants peace unto our souls. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Shining with pure rays, the Holy Cross sheds its divine light upon the peoples darkened by the beguilement of error, and it reconciles them to Christ who was crucified upon it, granting peace unto our souls. In the belly of the sea monster, Jonah stretched out his hands in the form of a cross, Plainly prefiguring the saving passion. When he emerged from there on the third day, he prefigured the transcendent resurrection of Christ our God, who was nailed to the cross in the flesh, and by his rising on the third day enlightened the world. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. Bent with age and wasted by sickness, Jacob was straightened when he crossed his hands, showing thereby the power of the life-giving cross. For God, who is crucified upon it in the flesh, thereby wrote anew the letter of the old law, written in shadows, and drove away the soul-destroying disease of error. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy Israel, by lying his hands crosswise on the heads of the young, signified that the people serving under the law should enjoy for a time the honor due to the firstborn. When suspected of error in so doing, he changed not the life-giving figure. For, cried he, the newly planted people of Christ our God, fortified by the cross, shall take the higher place. In the belly of the sea monster, Jonah stretched out his hands in the form of a cross, plainly prefiguring the saving passion. When he emerged from there on the third day, he prefigured the transcendent resurrection of Christ our God. Who was nailed to the cross in the flesh, and by his rising on the third day enlightened the world. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Amen. Now the King of Peace and the Savior of our 
souls and unto thee do we send our glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. up in the third heaven to paradise and who heard unspeakable and divine words which is it is not lawful for the human tongue to utter wrote to the Galatians as lovers of the scriptures you have read his words and know but God forbid said he that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ on which he killed our passions by his passion let us then firmly hold fast to the cross of the Lord the glory of us all for this wood is our salvation weapon of peace and unconquerable in sin of victory the senseless decree of the impious tyrant, spewing threats and blasphemy, hateful to God, brought the people to confusion. Yet the three children could not be frightened, either by the brutal fury or the roaring fire, but in the wind voice with you that blew against it. They stood together and they sang, O praise above all, o blessed art thou, our God and the God of our fathers. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. The first man, through eating from the tree, went to dwell in corruption, condemned to shameful banishment from life. He fell prey to bodily corruption, which he transmitted to all our kind, like some pollution from disease. But the inhabitants of the earth, finding restoration in the wood of the cross, cry aloud, Blessed art thou, and praised above all, O our God, and the God of our fathers. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The breaking of the law of God came through disobedience, and the untimely partaking of the fruit of the tree brought death to mortal men. Henceforth the tree of precious life was kept under guard until the confession of the good thief opened the path of access to it once again as he perished in agony, crying, Blessed art thou, and praised above all, O our God, and the God of our fathers. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Israel, foreseeing the future, did reverence the top of Joseph's staff, revealing how in times to come the most glorious cross should be the safeguard of royal power, for it is a triumphal glory to kings and a light to those who cry with faith. Blessed art thou, and praised above all, O our God, and the God of our fathers. O Lord, children equal in number to the Trinity, bless God the Father, the Creator. Praise the Word who descended and changed the fire into dew, and exalt above all to our ages, the Holy Spirit who gives life to all. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord, at the exaltation of the wood that is sprinkled with the blood of the incarnate word of God, sing praises, ye powers of heaven, feasting the restoration of mortal men. Ye people, venerate the cross of Christ, whereby resurrection has been granted to the world unto all ages. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Lord. Ye earthly dispensers of grace, reverently exalt with your hands the cross on which hung Christ our God and the lance that pierced the body of God the word. Let all the nations see the salvation of God and glorify him unto all the ages. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Ye faithful Christian kings, forechosen by divine decree, rejoice. Receiving from God the precious cross, make this victorious weapon your glory. For by it the tribes of the enemy that rashly seek battle are scattered unto all ages.
planted upon earth the life-giving tree of the cross. Therefore, at its exaltation on this day, we worship him and thee to be magnified. Magnify all my soul, the most precious cross of the Lord. Let all the trees of the wood rejoice, for their nature is made holy by Christ, who planted them in the beginning and who was outstretched upon the tree. At its exaltation on this day, we worship him, and thee do we magnify. Magnify, O my soul, the most precious cross of the Lord. The cross is raised up as a sacred horn of strength to all God's people, upon whose foreheads it is marked. Thereby are all the horns of the spiritual powers of wickedness crushed. At its exaltation on this day, we worship him, and thee do we magnify. Magnify, O my soul, the exaltation of the life-giving cross of the Lord. Not suffering the deadly bitterness of the tree still to remain, thou hast utterly destroyed it through the cross. In like manner of old did wood once destroy the bitterness of the waters of Mara, prefiguring the strength of the cross that all the powers of heaven magnify. Magnify, O oh my soul, the exaltation of the life-giving cross of the Lord. Through the cross, O oh Lord, today thou hast raised us up again who were plunged continually in the gloom of our forefather. Unrestrained greed thrust down our nature into error, but now we have been restored to our full inheritance by the light of thy cross, which we, the faithful, magnify. Magnify, O oh my soul, the exaltation of the life-giving cross of the Lord. To show the world, O oh Lord, the figure of the cross, reverenced in all places as most glorious, thou hast formed it in the sky, shining with boundless light, unconquerable armor for the king. This holy cross do all the powers of heaven magnify. and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. In memory, dear, most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Father, into the Son, into the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Today the cross is exalted, and the world is sanctified. For thou who art enthroned with the Father and the Holy Spirit hast spread thine arms upon it, and drawn the world to knowledge of thee, O Christ. Make worthy of divine glory those that have put their trust in thee. In the eighth tone, let every breath praise the Lord. Let every breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. To the O God is to us song. Praise Him on the air. Of his praise him all his hosts to the O God is to us song. In the same tone, the odd melon, O marvelous wonder, we praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with psaltery and harp. O marvelous wonder, the most holy cross. The life-giving tree is lifted up by titanium and shown to the world. On the ends of the earth in glory, all the devils are affrighted. How great a gift is here bestowed of mortal men. Through the cross save our souls, O Christ. Thou who alone art full of compassion. Praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and pipe. O marvelous wonder, the cross which carried the most high as a cluster of great balloons of life is seen today exalted high above the earth. Through the cross we are all drawn to God, and death has been forever swallowed up. Oh, and it filed wood. Through thee we enjoy the immortal fruit of Eden. As we glorify Christ. Praise him with tuneful symbols, praise him with loud clashing symbols, let every breath praise the Lord. O oh, marvelous wonder, the length and breadth of the cross is equal to the heavens. For my divine grace it sanctifies the whole world. By the cross, barbarian nations are conquered. By the cross, the scepters of kings are confirmed. O divine ladder, by thee we go up to heaven, exalting Christ the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Today the cross of the Lord goes forth, and the faithful welcome it with love, and they receive healing of soul and body, and of every week. Let us kiss it with joy and fear. With fear, for we are unworthy because of sin. With joy, for upon it Christ the Lord was crucified in his great mercy. Who grants the world salvation? He who has shown us the light. Glory to 
God in the highest, and the earth peace, good will towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, O Lord, God, man, O God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, Thou, that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer, Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For Thou alone art holy, Thou alone art Lord Jesus Christ, through the glory of God the Father, Amen. Every day will I bless Thee, and I will praise Thy name forever, ye forever and ever. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art Thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorified is thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Lord, Thou hast been our refuge from generation to generation. I say, O Lord, have mercy on me, O my soul, for I have sinned against Thee, Lord. Unto Thee have I fled for refuge, teach me to do Thy will, for Thou art my God. For in Thee is the fountain of life, and in Thy light shall we see light. O oh, continue thy mercy unto them that know thee. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us.
To thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for his beatitude, our metropolitan Tikhon, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Again, we pray for the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, our commander at Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable holy orthodox patriarchs and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy habitation and for all our fathers and brethren the orthodox the part of this life before us who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, 
salvation and visitation, for the brotherhood of this holy monastery, for the seminarians, faculty, staff, alumni, pilgrims, and benefactors of this holy habitation, and their families, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. mercy and to save us, O our God, and to thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. I will sing of mercy and judgment unto thee, O Lord. I will sing and have understanding in a blameless way. O when wilt thou come unto me in the midst of my house? I have walked in the innocence of my heart. I have said no lawless thing before mine eyes. I have hated the workers of transgression. A perverse heart is not cleaved unto me. The wicked man who turned from me I did not know. Him who speaks secretly against his neighbor have I driven away from me. He who has a proud eye and an insatiable heart, with him I have not eaten. Mine eyes are upon the faithful of the land that they might dwell with me. He that walked in a blameless way, he served me. The proud doer dwelt not in the midst of my house. The speaker of unjust things prospered not before mine eyes. In the morning I slew all the sinners of the land that I might utterly destroy all the works of iniquity from the city of the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance, grant victories to the Orthodox Christians over their adversaries, and by virtue of thy cross preserve thy habitation, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. What shall we call thee, O full of grace? Heaven, for thou didst shine forth the Son of Righteousness. <coughs> Paradise. <coughs> Paradise, for thou didst blossom forth the flower of incorruption. Virgin, for thou hast remained incorrupt. Pure mother, for thou hast held in thy holy embrace the Son who is God of all. Beseech him to save our souls. Order my steps according to thy word, and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the false accusation of men, and so I will keep thy commandments. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant and teach me thy statutes. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may hymn the glo thy glory and majesty all the day long. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. I is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto ages of Asia. Amen. As thou wast voluntarily crucified for our sake, grant mercy to those who are called by thy name, O Christ God. Make all Orthodox Christians glad by thy power, granting them victories over their adversaries by bestowing on them the invincible trophy, the, thy weapon of peace. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress, surround us with thy holy angels that guided and guarded by their host, we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
more honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the word, true Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. I'll be bound to pour the wise and bless to shine the light of thy countenance upon us and have mercy upon all. Amen. The true light which is only the sight of eyes, every man comes to the world that the light of thy countenance be signed upon us, that in it behold the light and approachable guide our footsteps aright to the keeping of thy commandments, to the intercession of an all immaculate mother and of all thy saints. Amen. As thou wast voluntarily crucified for our sake, grant mercy to those who are called by thy name, O Christ God. Make all Orthodox Christians glad by thy power, granting them victories over their adversaries. By Storming on them the invincible trophy, thy weapon of peace. Glory to thee, O Christ our God, and our hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Most blessed Master, bless. Christ our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Most blessed Master, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy.